stomach, that will help to help the lower back. So we just started soon. Just let me know, because apparently there's lots of white noise in the background. So now I've turned off all my music and everything like that to try and stop the white noise. So let me know, or the sun's just going to come through. <laughs> it was dark in here before, so it was a little bit better. You could see me, but anyway, hopefully you can still see me. I'll keep going. Let me know if the white noise has stopped now that I have the music turned off, so maybe that'll work a little bit better. Well, let's start up off the ground. So for anybody who's got any injuries or not too keen to get up off the ground yet, we're going to start holding the chair. It'll be easier. Hi, morning, morning, Joe. It'll be easier to switch on those core muscles just by standing. And anybody who's a little bit like, oh, I don't hate exercise, this might be great for them because it's easy to do. You don't even have to move very far from the seat. You can still watch TV. You can still do everything. You can wash him while you're doing it if you like. So here we go. No one can you tell me, does the white noise stop now? Give me a little thumbs up or a kiss or something. Send it through. Let me know. Sound better? Otherwise, I'll put my music back on. You put on whatever music you like just to keep you motivated. Remember, the kids can join in. Anybody can do this. It's free. So tell your friends that they can log on to Body Fit Miranda and do this. We've got Emerton and Marrickville coming around with two new gyms, so they can all log on as well. So join us, thanks, join us. And um, it's 9.30 every day, Monday through to Sunday. Victoria, morning, good morning. Hi, Michael, Michelle, Trevor, Bobby, Emery, and Ashley. Hi, morning, Cheryl. Get your dressing gowns off. Here we go. So we're going to start with my chair. Nice and tall. Remember, my hip and my shoulder need to be in line with each other. So I want to look nice and tall, like I'm pulling from the crown of your head. All I'm going to do is move that leg back and reach that arm forward. Move that arm back and reach that arm forward. I want to switch on at my abs. Hi. <laughs> I want to switch on at my abs as I do that. Now you can use the chair for balance. It's a little bit colder this morning. If it's cold in your house, keep your little jumper on. Good. And you don't even need shoes on, so I don't even need shoes. It's looking easier and easier. I want to feel like I'm opposite arm, opposite leg, stretching. This core is locking on right here and then down. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Really switch on at your core now. No one's going to tell me whether the white noise is still there. I can hear you loud and clear. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's the music in the background that makes that little white noise. Transverse, remember that lower tummy muscle, transverse. That's going to protect your lower back, so that's really important. You want to switch that on. If you need the chair for balance, use the chair for balance. And if you want to get fancy, you can come up on your tippy toes and then down. Up on your tippy toes, Sarah, you can do that. Up on your tippy toes and then down. Perfect. We've got about 10 more now. 10 more. Here we go. Coming up, then down. Remember, I'm going to squeeze my butt and my quad as well, Jan, just to get everything still working. My shoulders are back and down again. How many more? Joe, you're on the counter. Keep this going. <laughs> Perfect. Just a few more now. Main priority is I'm getting those abs switching on and I'm warming up. So here we go. Over to the other side now. Reach and lengthen. Remember, warming up into my ankle as well. Breathe out as you extend. Good. Squeeze your butt. If you don't have a chair, use the wall. If you don't need to, you can just hold it here. Remember all of these abs switching on, core switching on here. Keep going. Let me see who's doing. Beautiful. Hi, Sandra. Keep going. You've got the baby. You can pick up the baby as well. <laughs> if you like me, you're reaching for the top champagne. 
or more. It's so maybe you go down a little bit further. If you've got a lower back issue, breathe out. Be really conscious of this spine and that your belly is switching on. You don't have to go far. From here, I'm going back to the chair again. All I'm going to do is lift my legs up like I'm marching. See how high you can get them without moving forward or back. Lifting them up. Down and then up. Good. 
you. If you've got a big ball, you can use that instead. Whatever you've got at home. So I'm going to use the chair just to show you first of all. I'm just going to sit on the edge of the chair. Make sure you're not too far forward so you're doing it all the way forward. I'm just going to lift the leg. Easy. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Remember what I'm trying to do. Switch on at my transit. If you're not that stable, sit your bottom back further. Then lift it up. I'm really wanting those transverse, that transverse muscle to switch on. Pretend I'm pulling you from the crown of your head. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Because the chair is stable, you don't know if you're wobbling or not. So if you have got a ball, grab it on the wall, sit on it, and then from here, lift the leg. See if you can keep the ball really still. You're still lifting if you've got the chair. Um, one leg at a time. See if you can take your hand above your head and then you do it. No moving. So go back on the chair, lift your hands above your head, shoulders back and down, I'm engaging in those lats, lift that leg. Hey. So these exercises, nearly everybody can do. So if you've got your mum at home sitting there, mum doing nothing, here you go, you can do these. Take your hands down if it's too much or take them to the side. Whatever suits you. If you want to make it a little bit higher, let's take both legs off the floor and then down. Both legs off the floor and then down. Like somebody vacuuming under your feet. When does that ever happen? Never. <laughs> oh, well, there's one push you back in front of Here we go. Lift it up, then down. So, pretend for once you're not viewing the vacuuming and someone else is, and you're lifting your feet up to let them vacuum underneath. Good. <laughs> Let's do four more. And then, if it gets too hard, go back to one leg. If it's too hard, you've got the chair, have a rest. Two go. Lucky last one. Perfect. We're going to spin it around now. I'm going down to the floor. I'm going to use the chair for a little bit as well. So, I hope you can see me. I'll put this chair over here. Lay on your spine. I'm going to leave the chair underneath my leg. Nice and easy. Have a neutral spine. Good. And then from there, what I'm going to do is lift my bottom up. And then down. Lift your bottom up. Squeeze. And then down. Lift your bottom up. Really squeeze it. Tilt through your pelvis. And then down. Squeeze, transverse switches on, and then down. Good. So we're just going to give our spine a little bit of relief now, because we've been working on those cutting muscles, so now we're going to turn it the other way, just for a little bit. So you're lifting your bottom up and down. If that's too much on the chair, take your feet on the floor. Remember, do what's good for your spine, because we want the longevity of it there. We want to keep training forever. So we've got four more. Really squeeze your butt. Push your pelvis up and then drop down. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good. I don't know, you don't have to have many photos of people training. Can you start sending me info? I'm looking like nobody watches me. <laughs> Send me info and I will give you a backpack. You can come and pick it up or I can drop it off from any of our locations. Eight locations we have now. Good, two more, and then we're going back to some abs again. I'm going to leave my legs there, and I'm just going to roll up, and then roll down. Roll up, and then roll down. Perfect. Breathe out to come up, breathe in to hold it, breathe out to go down. I want to lengthen through each little vertebrae, and then roll back down again. Check out your belly. You don't want it to puff up. I want to draw it down as I roll up, and then down. Good. Breathe out. On my up. Roll down. Perfect. And then if that's feeling easy, take your hands behind your head. We're going to roll up and then roll down. Big breath down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go down. Excellent. So we've got about four more. So we're just warming up into this rectus now. So that's six pack. So it's working hard. That was just a pack popping out that way. 
Let's do two more. Excellent. I'm going to take it on the floor. I'm going to bring a leg in. All I need to do is bring it in and then take it away. Bring it in, take it away. Too easy. Breathe out, bring it in, breathe out. Touch your foot. Good. And then I'm going to add my head. If you feel it in your lower back, you shouldn't. But if you do, have a little break, release your spine, and then come back. With your legs on top, you shouldn't feel it in your lower back. Sometimes, if you've got a spine that really hurts, you might want to roll up the towel and pop it underneath your tailbone, just to give you a little bit of extra support. But if you're not feeling anything, in your lower back, then you're all right. Remember what we're trying to work. Breakfast. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, bring it down. Thank you. 
is on. If you need that little spine stretch, you can do the spine stretch. Let's change that over other leg. Point, point, heel drag step. Point, point. Tailbone still stays heavy on the floor. So tailbone still heavy on the floor. Good. Let's do a few more on this leg. Or spine stretch, whatever suits you. So we've moved our legs away from us. Now we're going to take our legs down. So, last one. I'm going to put my hands underneath my head like a pillow. I might move down the bit more. So underneath my head like a pillow. I want my neck to be heavy on the floor, or my head to be heavy on the floor. I'm going to pick up one leg, then the other. Get a neutral spine again, so neutral for you, no pressure. From here, I'm going to drop both legs. From here, I'm going to drop both legs down towards the floor. Open a little way, and then bring them back up. Breathe out, drop them down. Breathe in, breathe out, bring them back up. Good. So, for all those moms out there, it's hard to switch on our transverse and have that baby carrying them around. So this is a muscle that we really want to start to work again. You feel like you've lost it when you just had a baby. So we want to start slowly. So if it's too much, slow it down, have a break. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just a little bit of time, little tiny baby steps before we start sprinting. Now if you're feeling great, let's take it down further, all the way down. Deep breath in, sigh out, bring it back up. Good. So remember, that whole movement, I'm not trying to switch on my lower back at all. I'm trying to make my tummy do all the work to bring my legs down and up. If you feel it goes into your lower back, don't go down as far. So I'm going to do that tiny little movement away from you. So we're dropping it down and then bringing it back up. Breathe out. See if the tailbone stay in the same position. Breathe out and bring it back up. Tailbone in the same position. Good. The bigger the breath, the more that transverse is encouraged to switch on. Let's do a few more. Good. And then if you don't need your head underneath your hands, you can take them away from you. Perfect. So I want to feel that little tummy switching on. If you put your hands on your stomach, you'll feel it. Transverse switching on. Rest first as your legs move away. One more now. And let's go back down. Oh, no, my legs down. Take your legs side to side. If you need to, a little stretch or push your bottom up, whatever suits your spine. We're just going to do those tiny little crunches again. Just ribcage squash towards my hip. Belly heels down and then float down. See if you can lengthen your spine along the floor as you do it. Lengthen your spine along the floor. Good. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now you've got the transverse sorted. Let's draw it up at our pelvic floor as well. Draw it at that pelvic floor and transverse. So now you're doing lots of things. Good. Two more. And then like a little break for that transverse. You're feeling good now. Yes, yeah, like you the cheer. Here we go. I'm going to put my hands underneath my head again. I'm going to bring my bottom all the way up off the floor and then all the way back halfway down. Let's start halfway. Bottom off the floor, halfway down. Bottom off the floor, halfway down. So my head stays heavy in my hand. I'm just lifting my butt up and then down. I want my belly to do the work of lifting my legs all the way up and then bringing them all the way down again. Good. Here we go again. So, think about your head stays heavy on the floor. Legs come all the way up and then roll down. The slower and the more controlled you can do it, the more you're feeling it. If you've got a sore back, then maybe let's do a little lift. So a little lift for you is enough. Straight up, straight down. So let's do about eight more. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Have a break whenever you feel like it. I'm going to see if I can take my legs over a little bit further now. Over a little bit further. Roll down slow. Good. Breathe out on a roll down. Two more. Good. So 
we're now going all the way down. I'm going to add a little exercise in just to give us a break. Because we can keep going for 45 minutes, right? Take your leg down. I'm going to stick my bottom up in the air. Swing through your inner thighs just like a bridge. Pop your hands underneath your hips. If you go to the lower back, those hands are going to support your lower back, but you really want to squeeze your butt, tilt your pelvis. If that's enough for you, you're going to stay there. Otherwise, I'm going to lift your leg. Oh, one leg down, and then the other. Good. Hips are even. See if you can keep them even the whole time, even when you've got one leg on the, off the floor. I don't want to drop it down anywhere. Nice and even, if you need your hands, use your hands to support your lower back. Perfect. Keep pushing your hip up, squeezing, everything's on. Let's do a few more. Oh. Good. Last one. Perfect. Take your body all the way down. Hands back underneath your head. So we've got that rolling position down. I'm going to take my feet all the way down to the floor now. And then all the way up. Breathe out. All the way down. So before it was only halfway. All the way down. Good. I'm going to get started. Here we go. Here we go. All the way down. I always tell you, put these into a movie. <laughs> uh, remember, I don't want to feel like my lower back is supporting me on the way down. Really look at that. Make that transverse support you on the way down. Good. Excellent work. When you don't need your hand underneath your head, your shoulders are relaxed on the floor. We've got about four more. The slower you can go, the more you can feel. Pretend you're on a tightrope. So let's do three more now because I'm a slow counter. And then two more now. Good. And then to give us a little break, we're going to come back into that bridge position. So stick your body up in the air. Before it was one leg at a time. If you're happy to go back there, do that again. Otherwise, this time, I'm going to keep my leg up and then halfway down. Keep my leg up, halfway down. Use your hands underneath your body if you need to. Hips are nice and even. Trans are still locked on. Push that rib cage up a little bit more. Push the bottom up a little bit more. Good. And breathe. Just a few more. Lovely. Change over. Keep your hips pushing up unless you need to roll down. Take this leg up and then over. Halfway down. My knee only comes as far as my other knee. So I want them in line. I want to feel that butt really squeezing and that transverse switching on. You're also lengthening through your hamstring. And of course, if you're really flexible, you can keep your leg over your head and then halfway down. Look at you, Victoria. Over your head. Halfway down. Two more. Good. Back in my spine. Perfect. There's your little go. Take it all the way down. Push your hips up nice and high. And then roll down one vertebrae at a time. From here, I'm going to roll up, just like I did before, squash my little push favorites with my knee towards my shoulder. And then take it down. Go to the floor to start with. Come all the way up, shoulder, knee, and then come back down. And up again. Breathe out, and then down. So I'm really coming all the way down, trying to get that shoulder towards my knee. And then down. Good. Breathe out. So now I'm getting everything involved. If you want to make it a little bit harder, let's use the opposite elbow. So the opposite elbow could push you up a little bit higher. And then down. Good. And again, opposite elbow, push you up a little bit higher. So this elbow is pushing you higher than what I could go. 
nice long spine. Take your hands from your arms. Stick your chest out. It's a break. Nice little break because I'm so nice. Here we go. Pretend I've got my hand in your chest at the back of your, sorry, at the back of your shoulder blade. Drop down. So not a tricep dip. Drop down. Chest up the whole way. You can relax your head. And then you come up. I want to stretch through my shoulders. Through my shoulders. And I want to feel a little bit of traction through my spine. Good. As you come up, you can squeeze your triceps. Push your chest out a little bit more. Good. Like you're in a wet t-shirt competition. Nearly there. So I'm getting that lengthening and a little bit of traction through my spine. Perfect. Two more. Still losing my voice. <laughs> Last one. Excellent. From here, take your hands away, roll down, one vertebrae at a time, just like Pilates, you're still working your abs. Breathe out, roll down. Wonderful. Drop your legs to one side. And then you drop down and then breathe out, come on. Drop down, breathe out, come on. Good. Now your obliques are working. They're going to work because you're coming up. You've got to check out that transverse and make it switch on. And then drop down. Breathe out. Good. So those weights working hard. Breathe out, come out. Perfect. Roll into the transverse. Relax your head. Work on a few more. Maybe four for the counter. Not really a counter. You get to four for Keep working. Must be made there. Lucky I have the counter in my class. Last one. Good work. Go down. You go down, but underneath your legs, roll up. Take your hands and arms. This is a tricep dip this time. Stick your chest out, drop down, then come back up. Perfect. Make sure your fingers are facing the bottom. So if you're not used to little tricep dips, make sure your fingers are facing your bottom. Good. And you're feeling pretty good. Those triceps are working, your legs are through your spine. There we go. And we're going to do the other side. Excellent work. Let's go all the way down. Let's go all the way down. Shoulders back and down. Scoop through your body. Bring it out. One more at a time. Spin your legs to the other side. Take it down and up again. Breathe up. Come up. And then glide down. See if you can move your knees together. So I don't want to feel like my knees are helping me to come up. Knees together. Breathe out. Shoulder relax. So remember what you're working? You're a blue. But I really want my transverse to start to fire up as well. And if you've got nothing else to think about, squeeze your butt. Are you squeezing your butt? Not with your hand. With your mind. Two more. Good work. You know what we're doing again now? Oh, a roll up again. Underneath. Roll up. Easy. Nice long length and spine. I'm going to do that tricep again. Down and up. But this time I'm doing it with one hand. Oh, it's like a trick at a party. And now you're kicking up your leg. It is a trick. Let's do four more. I really want that tricep to work, but I really want that abs to lock on as well. Beautiful. Let's try the other leg. Reach. Good, looks good. It looks good from here. Perfect. Wow, looking great from here now. You look so good. We're going to do both legs in the air. What? Both hands in the air. Oh no. Okay. I can tell you where to draw the leg if you like. <laughs> Have a big hug. You're going to drop down, squeeze through your inner thighs, and then float up. Drop down. Squeeze through your inner thighs and then float up. If that's too much, use your hands. So whatever way works for you. And you might only want to do one before you come back up again. Let's do two more. Not the last one. Oh, bend your knees. Drop them down to one side. Have a little stretch. Come all the way back. Over to the other side. Good. Come all the way back. Take your elbows down to the floor. So it's like you're at the beach. I wish it was warm. Okay, so you're at the beach, you're relaxing your head. Kick one leg up. I'm going to take it down and up. Squash your rib cage towards your hips. Good. Tailbone's heavy on the floor like a lifted four carat bar. No 
to change over, try the other leg. Squash your rib cage towards your hips. So I'm really not just lying out. I'm squashing my rib cage towards my hips as much as I can. Take that leg up and down. No movement in the torso. Looks good. And you know what comes next? Oh, first leg! Here we go, down and up. So I want to really squash my rib cage towards my hips. Now you're hardly leaning on your hands at all. Pretend I'm pulling your legs out of your hip socket. So they longer each time. Let's do 12 more. Do you go fast? Or you can go slowly. Whatever suits you. Relax your upper body. Except for that rib cage squashing towards your hips. You can relax your legs. Ella, are you there? Two more. Must be twelve. Bend your knees in. Drop them from side to side again. Oh, have a little stretch through your spine. Breathe out through the hands of that. You know what's going to come next? What? Did I hear you say? No hands? Yes, that's right. Here we go. Take your legs up. Single leg. Take one hand away. Take two hands away. Oh, now in there, it looks great. Or you can pop your hands back, whatever way you like. Let me see who's doing it. Norman, you look fabulous. Go, Joe. Good work, Cheryl. Keep going. Woohoo! Oh, go, Joe. Good work. Bend your knees, roll down. One vertebrae at a time. Oh, roll over onto your side. We're just going to do a few little breaks. I'll keep my legs. Underneath that chair. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Top hip goes forward. Lift your legs up and down. So my glutes are working really hard here. Down the side of your leg. You can feel them. Pop your hand over the weight. Down at the fingers. Do a little bit of work. I'm going to move that chair before I grab the leg. So. <laughs> Now you're squeezing through your inner thighs, so we're getting everything sorted here. Take that leg up and down now. So the bottom leg, you see my bottom leg? They're both up the floor, the top one's moving up and down. Good. Still no white noise, Norm? Nice and easy, but I have to see, you know, country and rest in my head. Hold it here, take the bottom leg to the top leg, and down. Good work. Now, those little avoids. Should be working harder. Don't let that transverse switch off. Really switch it on from here. Breathe. Two more. And then hold it here, turn out at your feet. Lift it up and down from here. From your inner thighs all the way down. You're switching on. Now you're going to beat your heels together. Beat, 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 beat. Looks good. You're still breathing into your perfect. One more now. I'm going to leave my feet there. Tap my knee, lift your leg up, and then drag it down. Tap your knee, hip, then drag it down. Tap, hip, down. And the other leg is still floating off the floor. We're just doing this so you're getting a lengthening of your leg while you're still working your obliques. So I'd like to try and do as many things in one little exercise as I can. So we don't have to be here for longer. We've got more parties to go to. More dancing to do. Isn't it on? Yes, I hear the cheer from here. Woohoo! One more. We've got eight here. Eight little pulses higher than what you've done before. So lift those legs up. Eight little pulses. Eight. Good work. So I really want to feel an overload through those obliques. Transverse, we'll switch you on, you're squeezing your butt, squeezing your inner thighs, squeeze your quads if you can, and then relax down. Beautiful. Spin your legs over to the other side. Give yourself a little mermaid stretch, like a mermaid on a rock. Push your hips down, reach your arm over. Breathe. Relax your head. Good work. Here we go again. Other side, same thing. Lengthen through your spine, top hip forward, your bottom hip, both legs are up 
him down. Can you see my face? Oh, off the floor. Up and down, off the floor. No, your head's down here. When you look down at your feet from your eyes, you can see your tippy tippy toes. So I want that thing to be forward, not backwards. So more forward, not backwards. That's it. Put your hands on your obliques, because I always love to know where I'm working, and see if it's switching on, because your body loves to cheat. It would love to let something else work. So switching that on, and then take that leg up and down. That's it. The other one's still floating off the floor. If it gets too much, have a little rest. Put that leg on the floor and just keep this one moving. It'll change the position of the exercise a little bit, but that doesn't matter. We'll just keep going. Relax your shoulders down your spine. Keep breathing. Hold that leg up. Take the bottom one to the top leg. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> ah, squeeze through your inner thighs when you get to the top, then down. Squeeze through your inner thighs and then down. A blink should be starting to overload. Do so I hear a chair that they're overloading? Yay! Are they overloading? Almost. Keep your legs together. Take it around in a little circle. Good work. Keep breathing. Now, obliques will work automatically, remember that. Transverse, well that can start to switch off, but we want to switch it on, so breathe. Concentrate on switching that transverse on. Back the other way, little circle. Nearly there. Excellent work. And I didn't even get time to use the band, the little band. Next time, next Friday. Here we go. Lift eight from here. Lift eight. Higher than what you've lifted before. That should be the little override that makes you go oh, at the end. Eight. So close. Six. Four. Now we're there. Oh, relax. Push yourself all the way up. Spin your legs over to the other side for that little mermaid stretch. So legs down, reach up and over. Open up through your chest. And breathe. Good. Keep pushing that hip down. Excellent work. I'm going to give you a little thoracic spine stretch to finish off with, just so you feel like you've stretched everything out and worked your core at the same time. You could use a ball, your seat, a lounge, or even just the floor. It doesn't matter. I want to put my elbows on the ball or the seat. I want to push my elbows down, so I'm pushing my elbows down, but I'm pulling my bottom back, and then I'm dropping my chest down. So, pull your elbows down, drop your bottom back, chest down. Like I've got my hands in the middle of your back, and I'm pushing it down. So if you've got a chair, let me show you my chair.
No, no. Love you lots. Thanks for joining me. Remember, be kind to yourself and be nice to someone else. Tomorrow, yoga. Nine day yoga. See you here. Love you. Bye.